Hi friends, in this video we are going to uh, see the packet tracer activity, FTP servers. Before coming to this activity, friends if you are watching our channel first time or if not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. And also don't forget to enable that bell icon near to our subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Right, coming back to our uh, activity, here we can see the objectives. In part 1, we will configure FTP services on servers. Then in part 2, we will upload a file to the FTP server. And then finally, we will download a file from the FTP server. Right, we will uh, directly move to part 1. Configure FTP services on servers. Step 1, configure the FTP service on central server. So coming to our packet tracer, here we can see central and here we can see our central server. Now click central server, then go to services tab, then FTP. Okay, coming to our central server, we will go to services and here we can see FTP, we will click on it. Then click on to enable FTP service. So here we can see FTP, uh, it's uh, by default, the service is off. We will put it on. Now in user setup, create the following user accounts. Click add to add the account. Here we can see the username, we will uh, copy this uh, username. And uh, here we can see that user setup. Username is anonymous and we can see the password. It's here. Next we can see permissions. Uh, this uh, user is uh, limited to read and list. So here we can see the check boxes. Write, read, delete, rename and list. So for this user anonymous, uh, the given permissions are read and list. So we will select read and list. Now we will add this user. Coming to the next user, it's administrator. Password is Cisco. And here we can see permissions, full permission. So we will enable all these checkboxes, write, read, delete, rename and list. Then we will add this user. Next is uh, click the default uh, Cisco user account and click remove to delete it. Close the central server configuration window. So here we can see that default uh, user Cisco. We will click on it so that it will be highlighted and then we will remove it. Here we can see uh, that remove button. So what is next? Step 2. Configure the FTP service on branch server. So repeat step 1 on branch server. Coming to topology. Here we can see branch and here we can see our branch server. So we will repeat the same step uh, what we have done on our central server. So we will come to this branch server. Then we will go to services and here we can see FTP. And we will put on this uh, FTP service. Now we will add these users. We will copy this username. And here is the password. Same password. And here the permission only read and list. Then we will add this uh, user. Coming to the next username, it's administrator. Password is a Cisco. With the full permission, write, read, delete, rename and list. We will add it. Then we will remove this default user account, Cisco. We'll click on it, then click remove. Okay, right. Now we will move to part 2. Upload a file to the FTP server. Step 1. Transfer the readme.txt file. So it's a text file. From the home laptop to central server. 
As network administrator, you must place a notice on the FTP servers. The document has been created on the home laptop and must be uploaded to the FTP servers. Coming to our topology, we will uh, search for this uh, home laptop. Here we can see our home laptop. Next, click home laptop and click the desktop tab. Then go to text editor. Then we have to open that uh, text file readme.txt. Then review it. Close the text editor when done. Okay, we will go to our home laptop. Then we will go to desktop. And uh, here we can see our text editor. Now we will open. Here we can go to file, open, and we will open this uh, readme.txt. Then we will click on OK. And here we can see that the text file. They given a note here. Do not change the file because this affects scoring. And anyway, we are not going to edit these uh, contents. Okay, next is in the desktop tab, open the command prompt window and perform the following steps. Type ftp space central server.pt.pka. Wait several seconds while the client connects. Okay, we will go to desktop and we will go to command prompt. Here we will give that command. It's ftp central server.pt.pka. So it's trying to connect to central server.pt.pka. And here we can see they given a note because packet tracer is a simulation. It can take up to 30 seconds for FTP to connect the first time. So uh, after uh, some seconds here we can see it's prompted for the username. Now the server prompts for username and password. Use the credentials for the administrator account. Okay, so our username is administrator. Our password given is Cisco. And here we can see, now we are in this FTP service. Next, the prompt changes to FTP then greater than. List the contents of the directory by typing dir. The file directory on central server displays. Okay, we will verify that by giving this command dir. And here we can see uh, all the files in this uh, uh, central server. Now transfer the readme.txt file uh, at the FTP prompt type put readme.txt. So this file is uh, transferred from the home laptop to central server. Okay, right, so we can do that. Here we will give put file name is uh, readme.txt. So here we can see the details. Writing the file to this uh, server. File transfer in progress. Transfer complete. We can see 337 bytes copied. Transferred. Okay. So within these uh, seconds. Now verify the transfer of the file by typing dir. The readme.txt file is now listed in the file directory. Now close the FTP client by typing quit. The prompt will return to PC. Now we will verify this uh, file is uh, transferred or not. So we will uh, give the command dir. And we will verify for our file. Here we can see readme.txt. It's transferred. Now here we will give quit. Now we will go to step 2. Transfer the readme.txt file from the home laptop to branch server. Repeat step 1c to transfer the readme.txt file to branch server.pt.pka. Close the command prompt and the home laptop windows respectively. Okay, we will uh, uh, do that. 
right we will do that so here we will give ftp space our branch server dot pt dot pka so it's a prompted for the username it's administrator password is cisco and here we, are, here we can see now we are in ftp now we will display the contents of the uh, directory by giving this command dir and here we can see all the files but here we cannot see that file uh, readme.txt we are going to copy uh, to this uh, server so for uh, transferring that uh, readme.txt file to this uh, branch server we have to give this command put then the file name it's uh, readme.txt so here we can see transfer complete within these seconds total 337 bytes transferred right now we will verify whether this file transferred or not to our branch server so we will give dir and we will verify it now here we can see the file readme.txt it's transferred so we will quit from here right now we will come to part 3 download a file from the FTP server okay step 1 transfer readme.txt from central server to PC2 so click PC2 and click the desktop tab then go to command prompt then type FTP central server dot pt dot pka coming to our topology here we can see our entity device uh, pc2 it's here we will go to pc2 desktop command prompt and here we are going to type it ftp space central server dot pt dot pka here we can see it's a prompt for the username here the server prompts for username and password use the credentials for the anonymous account okay we are going to use this user anonymous username is anonymous and here is our password so here we can see now we are in FTP next is the prompt changes to FTP greater than s yes. list the contents of the directory by typing dir the readme.txt file is listed at the top of the directory list yes we can see that we already verified it but still we will verify once more by giving this command dir so in the beginning itself we can see our file readme.txt now download the readme.txt file at the ftp prompt type get readme.txt so this file is a transfer to PC2 okay we can do that here we will give that command get file name is readme.txt so here we can see transfer complete this many bytes within these seconds next is verify the anonymous account does not have the permission to write files to central server by typing put sample file dot txt the following error message displays okay right so we will uh, try that so now we are in anonymous user so here we are going to put file name is uh, sample file dot txt But here we can see the error here we can see permission denied yes now close the FTP client by typing quit the prompt returns to the PC creator prompt okay so we will like quit verify the transfer of the file to pc2 by typing dir and we can see this file is listed in the directory then close the command line window so here in this uh, pc2 we will verify the content of the uh, directories by giving this command dir 
so here we can see readme.txt file okay right coming to the last step step 2 transfer the readme.txt file from the branch server to the smartphone repeat step 1 for the smartphone except download the readme.txt file from the branch server.pt.pka okay now we will uh, transfer uh, this file readme.txt file uh, from branch server to our smartphone so uh, we will go to our smartphone so here we can see our smartphone yes here it is uh, in this uh, branch you will go to smartphone desktop command prompt then we will go to ftp branch server.pt.pka username we will give anonymous so we'll copy this username password same anonymous and now we are in ftp so we will list our all the files uh, in this uh, server brand server using dir and here we can see our file readme.txt so we will get this file to our smartphone get readme.txt so here we can see it's copied transfer complete now we will quit now we will verify uh, whether this uh, file is uh, uh, copied from a branch server to this uh, smartphone or not so here we will give the command dir and here we can see the file uh, readme.txt great so friends uh, in this video we have seen uh, this packet tracer activity ftp servers and here we can see our completion status it's a hundred out of hundred friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below and if you like our channel our videos give a thumb and share with your friends stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you